Hi, I'm James Nave. And I'm Allegra Houston. And welcome to the Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week. The Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt is designed to give you a sense of liberation around your creativity, designed to get rid of those air quotes around writer and just get down to business, letting your imagination inform what you generate on the page. Surprising yourself is one of the best things a writer can do. When you surprise yourself, you surprise your readers. Also makes it a lot more fun. Um, we are working with 10 minute writing prompts. The idea being that 10 minutes gives you long enough to write something you know, fairly substantial, but not so long that you have lots of time to agonize and struggle and strain yourself about what you're supposed to be writing. Um, the point of our training is not like the gym where you do moan and groan and struggle and strain. Uh, the point is for it to be more like a kind of playground um, and to let your imagination just kind of throw things out at you that you really didn't know were there. One so thing to remember when you do this work, the 10 minute writing prompt or the 10 minute time frame is really designed to give you an opportunity to drop in and whatever way you please. So you might spend five minutes thinking about it before you begin, or you might be one of those writers who you just love to start and you start and you go as fast as you can and generate as much material as possible. Either way works. The whole point is to just drop into who you are and let that inform the way you appear on the page with the work that you do. So we'll dive right into the prompt. I will put up a list of opposites on the screen because we believe that opposites, contradictions, oppositions um, are often at the heart of interesting writing. They, they provide energy and intrigue and mystery and conflict. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do is choose one of the oppositions on the page or indeed a different opposition that may occur to you. Um, one of the things about the imaginative storm is you, we don't require that you follow instructions. Um, if you aren't sure which one to choose, they all kind of, you know, you're, you find yourself in your rational mind going, oh, maybe I should do that one or I should do that one. Just close your eyes, then open your eyes and just let your eyes land on one of the oppositions and use that one. And once you've got your opposition figured out which one you're gonna use, what I would like you to do is simply write about a time when that opposition, that contradiction was important. And we'll write for 10 minutes.
We hope you enjoyed that. We hope you found some interesting things coming out of your imagination that surprised you. And if you like what you wrote, we invite you to come to our site on the platform Circle. It's imaginativestorm.circle.so and you will also find that URL in the text below this post. And post what you wrote in the 10 minutes under prompt of the week. You can post it as a comment attached to the actual prompt, which is already there on the circle. We invite you to come back every week. We'll be posting a new prompt every Saturday. And if you would like to join us live on Zoom, simply message us on the circle and we will send you the Zoom link. And that's imaginativestorm.circle.so if you would like to join that circle. And we really hope you do. It's free. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is free, by <laughs> the way. So thank you so much for tuning in to the writing prompt of the week. And we hope to see you on the next writing prompt somewhere very soon down the line. Thank you for coming. <laughs>